525,600 minutes. About 208 weeks and 48 months. This is how long we've been in high school. Or at least that's what Google said. Wait, go back to the minute part. Isn't that from the musical Rent? 525,600 minutes. Ciao. Anyway, so. All right, let me rewind. <laughs> August 30th, 2017 was my first time stepping into AAW. I'll never forget. It was new student orientation. Walking into the Cafe Gymatorium was so new to me. I remember the current students performed for us. You had singers and dancers and poets. I just kept thinking, how could one school hold so much talent? They split us up into groups. I was in the purple group. I met some of my friends that I'm still close with today. We did icebreakers and we talked about our talents. I knew this is where I belonged. Fast forward the first month of school, I started to meet more people and create more bonds. Not you, Taylor. I didn't even meet you yet. Anyways, I started meeting more people, talking to more people, and trying to find my group. And now I met Taylor. While attending an art high school, I also participated in the best theater program on this planet, Mosaic Youth Theater of Detroit. I was in the second stage singing company. Sing, Jay! Zeg was all I ever talked about, whether in the car or at school. That's how amazing they are. While I did walk into AAW as a singer, I didn't stay there for long. By second semester, I switched my art, and I didn't know what I wanted to be. Fast forward to sophomore year. Now me and Taylor are best friends. You know I'm not in the mood today. Why don't get there? Can't you tell? By sophomore year, I really wanted to dance. So I took the best class at AAW there is, the tap class. This is where I met my first dance teacher ever, Miss Jenny, AKA Jennifer Meeks, AKA the, Jenny from the Black. AKA the best dance teacher. And I don't think she knows this, but she's like a second mom to me. While I'm known for my extraordinary stage presence when I perform, It was not always that way. However, being in Miss Jenny class did bring out a new type of confidence. Sophomore year is like my favorite year in high school. It's like you're no longer a freshman, but you're not too old either. You still got a little bit more time. I continue to stay in Mosaic for like half a season. I also finally found my friend group. That talk <laughs> on the clock, I'm running out of time. Eating a lot. Just consisted of the same friends from freshman year. Junior year, I was back in Mosaic, still dancing, and I even got a haircut. Me and my friends were living our best life. And living in our best, we were. Well, you already know where it's about to go. So roll the tape. The coronavirus is spreading so quickly around the globe, it may only be a matter of time before it begins rolling across the U.S. with the potential to become a pandemic. Deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. This morning, the grim reality. More than 100,000 American lives lost to the coronavirus. We're coming on the air now with breaking news and the killing of George Floyd, who died on Memorial Day. New questions in the Breonna Taylor case, which has been sparking protests across the country. The rest of junior year and the rest of that summer was honestly just a blur. I went from being on top of the world to feeling like the whole world was crushing down on me. And I lost some friends on the way. Not to COVID. I just outgrew a lot of them. But then something changed. I found something familiar. My faith. Non-believer, do not scroll. Listen. Who would it benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your soul? I'm talking about fame and the money. Now you acting funny. Why? For some new clothes? Uh, oh, wait. Listen to these bars. You care about riding around in fancy cars? Care about living life for the world? I care about living life for my God. Don't be a dummy. You getting too comfy. Not wanting God's grace. Your nose must be stuffy. Yeah, you must be sick or you must be hungry. His grace is so sweet. So sweet, call it honey. Reading my Bible because I'm a disciple. You getting too spiteful. Just put down that rifle and pick up your Bible. It's very insightful to God be the glory. He is entitled. I did a complete 180 or 360 or whatever it is. I, I don't know. I'm not good at math. But I gave my life back to God and it was the greatest decision ever. 
I started to host different Bible studies, and I even became a co-creator of a panelist discussion for Christian teenagers. Friday, December 4th, on Zoom, is More to Life for a Christian Girl, hosted by X is Andrea X. Men can reap what they sow. Whoever sows to please the flesh will reap destruction. Faye X Curls. And Jayla Nicole. Don't be a dummy. You can't sue so comfy. Not one that for me. Show those me stuff. I found a new peace and a new happiness. Now I'm a senior, 3.5 GPA and attending Wayne State in the fall. I'm still a part of the greatest theater program on this planet, Mosaic, and I plan to get my BFA in theater in college. So you may be asking me, what exactly did you learn in your four years of high school? And the honest answer is, I don't know, but at least y'all can say y'all know me when I'm famous. No, but in all honesty, there's so many lessons to be learned, and everybody's experience is different. I learned that time doesn't wait for nobody. So I learned just live life to the fullest and try to find your purpose, which I'm still trying to do because I don't know if I found my purpose, but just live life to the fullest. <laughs>